I don't really want to answer that right now. Let me get my phone out. Yeah. Talk about, I can tell you a lot about coverages and. About what? Coverages, <laughs> coverages and fronts and <laughs> blitzes right this time of year. <laughs> That's the third interview after this one. <laughs> I want a prediction. That's Sunday. the Sunday interview, yeah. But the glove is going to do something this week. He's wearing a glove this week. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he's kind of like every other, how are he's feeling? I asked him about that, actually. Like, how do you decide? He's like, ah, oh, just, cool. it's kind of how I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I rub my fingers. Nah. This, I need a glove. Okay, uh, booms out of your shot? Booms out of my shot, yeah. Still? So a lot of us here at Weather Nation have a single event that really inspired us to study the atmosphere. Do you have a single event that really inspired you? Oh man, I just remember being scared of the weather when I was a little kid. Uh, growing up in Chicago, we kind of right. saw all types of weather. Super cold in the wintertime, and then like crazy summertime storms, springtime storms. So uh, I was like really scared of it. And, but I kind of like grew into an interest and uh, wanted to know more about it to kind of take that fear out of it. So that was kind of like the main thing for me. So really almost like face your fears yeah. and dive into it. I was scared of like the high winds just that wasn't didn't good like it. In didn't right? like it as a little kid. So yeah. So the wind. Kind of conquer my fear there. Okay, so then when did you decide to study meteorology? Ooh, well, I guess I didn't officially decide until I got up to Wisconsin, but I had made that decision when I decided to go to Wisconsin, when I committed to go up there to play football. Um, when I took my visits, I got to meet um, the head of the department and really good school for meteorology up there. And um, so I was like, oh, I've got to take advantage of the situation. and. Um, made that decision kind of based off of, of their school and their program. What do you think is the most interesting type of weather? Oh man, I think tornadoes, supercell storms are super interesting because they're all different. Um, they're all kind of the same, but they're all, they're all very different and um, super intense on, on that type of scale. Um, just the, uh, like the cloud structures involved in that and everything that kind of has to go right to make a tornado happen. Right. Um, and you can have all, all type of conditions perfect for it and something's missing so you don't get it. Um, so I think that's one of the more interesting things and something obviously the weather world is still learning a lot about. So meteorology classes were fun for you in school? Uh, some were fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you. Some. <laughs> how did you balance school and D1 football? It was we all need to know that. It, it, was really, it was really tough. I mean, I, I, I always saw myself as a math and science guy. Um, I don't think I really had a good grasp of how much math and how much like physics was going to go into that major. You know, like three semesters of calculus and calculus based physics, all that stuff. So um, they had great tutors at Wisconsin. I got I got help and uh, you know good study groups. So um, but once you got into actual like core classes and right. you're actually learning about the weather and and systems and how stuff set, sets up and why things happen the way they do. That was cool. Um, the math and science was not that cool. <laughs> I, I actually have on my paper, how did you deal with all the calculus and physics? So. Exactly. Tutors. It was hard. Tutors, yes. Always a good you know, idea. Yeah, as good as you are with, with math, as anybody is, you know, there's a reason that we have computers for all that <laughs> stuff, you know. <laughs> I gotcha. Um, but, so obviously the calculus and physics not your favorite part, but what right. would you say your favorite class was and maybe your favorite, like, lesson? Ooh, oh, man. Um, this was a while ago, so, you know what? I honestly really liked, like, the initial introductory course that even, like, some, I think, just general population of the students take who aren't atmospheric and oceanic science majors because it kind of goes over the basics and kind of, explains why things work the way they do without getting into all the technicalities of the math and science of it. Um, and then once we got into like, you know, junior, senior level classes, um, I think just learning about the meso scales was, was really cool for me. Like the fronts and stuff. Exactly. Really. Just the way everything's set up. And I really liked 
Um, you, know, they, you know, they give you information, you, and you have to draw your own system, yeah. your, own, your own fronts in there, and, and the wind directions, and all that different type of stuff. So, be, you know, doing that on your own um, really kind of helped you learn how things are set up and why things work the way they do. Certainly, certainly. And I saw on your Twitter that you have the shoes that have the fronts and ISO bars on them. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, radar return on yeah. my on my some Nikes that I have. Um, I, I saw those and obviously I had to have them. <laughs> I'm kind of a, I'm a little bit of a you know s sneaker head of sorts, um, but then having weather stuff on it was just no brainer. Right, right, right. right. So your teammates uh, obviously know you as the weatherman. Are they nice about it? Do they kind of tease you? We can be known to be nerdy. Yeah, uh, we're a little nerdy. That's okay. <laughs> um, I, I think most most guys don't actually talk to me about it. But the few guys that do that uh, maybe are curious about the weather will come to me and, and actually ask good questions. Mm -hmm. um, people that don't, they're just like, you know, what kind of cloud is that? Is it going to rain? When's it going to rain? Like, the typical like, questions everybody has. You know, how many minutes is it going to rain? Like, yeah. I, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot. So. Right. So it's it's, it's you, still fun. Do you give, like, the forecast before the games? or? I give a presentation to the team. Uh, no, I don't. I, uh, <laughs> we, I, I probably should, though, just to kind of let everybody know. Right. If it's going to be really bad, we kind of have a heads up um, right. in terms of what to prepare for. Um, okay. But if they want detail, they, they come to me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What was the worst weather you ever played in? Whether it was in college, and then maybe we'll focus on the NFL. Um, let's see. Had a game in college. Uh, it was a game at Arizona. So we were playing in Tucson. So we were preparing for Sun. just super hot. Uh, it was the beginning of the season, so we're like mm -hmm. hydrating, uh, doing all this crazy stuff. And what actually happened, we had some... I remember doing a forecast for this game specifically and gave a 30% chance of rain because of a tropical system that was off the coast, of coast of Mexico. And just so happened that some of the bands ended up working their way up there and it was just a downpour right. for the whole game. Um, so much so that we, were, we had a 90 minute delay, our locker room flooded, <laughs> and it's the only game I've ever played where we didn't go to halftime. So the second quarter ended and we went straight to the third quarter because we had a, a that 90 minute break like somewhere in the first or second quarter. So it was crazy. Yeah. Re ready for that heat and uh, right. got a hurricane out of it. Was it a mud bowl or? It ended up, I mean, it was it was super wet. I mean, the field was actually pretty good in pretty okay. good condition. So it wasn't like really, really muddy, um, but muddy enough, you know, it was, it was pouring rain the whole game. So How about it was NFL? Tough. What was the worst? Ooh, worst game in the NFL. Um, <clears throat> it's probably like polar opposite of that. We had a game in Green Bay in December, and it was three below. So the coldest game I ever played in. It uh, wasn't snowing. You know, it might have been some flurries, but um, we were kind of sort of saved. It wasn't a very windy day. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, the NFL, the sidelines are really nice. Those heated benches and heaters, you know, yes. looks like a rocket engine yeah. and parkas and everything. <laughs> sidelines are great. You go out in the field and... Lips are frozen right away, so um, that was tough. You know, it just seems like when it's that cold, everything moves slower. Mm -hmm. um, the ball just moves slower, people move slower, um, and everything hurts a little bit more. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, with that in mind, do you like playing in domes, or do you like the natural elements? I like playing in perfect conditions. <laughs> <laughs> so playing inside yeah. um, is obviously ideal. Um, you know, when you get, you know, kind of later into the fall, kind of this time of year, um, it's great football weather. Uh, you know, you're getting the 50s, playing in the 50 degree weather is, is awesome because you're never going to get too hot or too cold. Um, you know, beginning of the season, it can be warm and end of the season, it can be super cold, but we're right in that sweet spot right now. Well, I was going to say, this weekend looks really great. You're talking 50s, which is way too cold for me, but for you, I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, for, for fans, it might be a little different, but when we're running around out there, it's, uh, you don't have to worry about um, dying of, of heat exhaustion. And what stadium slash team do you like playing because of the weather? Because Miami's kind of too hot. Yeah, it just depends on what time of the year you go to certain yeah. places, you know? Um, it's always nice to go down to Florida in the wintertime and um, nice playing in the Midwest in September. Um, you don't want to go there. I mean, 
like I was talking about before, going to Green Bay in, the, in December is never good. Or right. I played in Cleveland same time of year, and it's it's never fun. <laughs> so it just depends on the time of year you're going to each city. Well, how do you like playing for Denver, the Mile High? City? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, great, you know, great state, awesome city. The people are great, but um, the weather I think has been awesome. My experience with it so far, um, just. I've been here since April, um, and I've been in Houston the last 10 years. So uh, this the perspective you have, have on the weather here. Um, you know, Houston, you know, anything past the tree line and you don't see anything. So here, like, you can see for 100 miles and see everything develop and right. wherever, any direction you look. So I think that's one of the coolest parts Big of being sky, up here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what's it like to play in the snow, the heat, the rain? Like, what's your favorite and your least favorite kind of weather to play in? Uh, I would say my least favorite is cold and rainy. Um, just because, you know, playing in wet conditions is hard as, when you're trying to handle the football. Um, you got to make decisions on wearing, whether you're wearing gloves, what type of gloves, maybe not wearing gloves at all. Um, footwear, making sure you have the right you know, cleats on for the field you're playing on. Um, and then when it's, when it's wet and cold, it's, right. it's, it's hard to stay warm. So, um, uh, that's my least favorite. It can be cold and not wet. Um, it can be snowing. It's not as bad as cold and rainy, like thirties oh. and rainy is not good. That's about as bad as, bad as it gets. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. windy conditions also, that's, that's never fun. Um, and then indoors is awesome. <laughs> no, but like, but like, you know, yeah. I think I said before, you know, you know, 50 degrees. Um, I actually like it when the sky is cloudy when we play it for some reason. It, does the sun kind of, that affects Yeah, it, it does, it, it can, yeah. it can. Um, That's interesting. You know, depending on, again, depending on where you're playing, what time of year, uh, the level of that sun in the sky can be kind of a nuisance sometimes so if sure. it's cloudy it's it's not so bright it's not that glare out there right. and you can just have fun playing okay. it's like playing like when you're a little kid in the backyard and right. yeah yeah so one of my colleagues chris bianchi came up with a trivia question trivia let's question. see okay. oh, this is the cities that you've played in which city sees the most annual snowfall in order and i'll you know houston chicago baltimore denver madison in order most snowfall starting with the highest amount okay so we got <laughs> what are the cities houston baltimore houston, yep chicago chicago denver denver madison and madison okay the highest snowfall what highest lowest yes. okay Ooh, i'm gonna go, i'm gonna go um i'm gonna go denver madison chicago Baltimore, Houston. That could be totally wrong. Touchdown! Really? Well done. Woo! Well done. Yes! <laughs> All right. I swear I didn't study for that yet. <laughs> Great job. That's it. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so much. Oh, for sure. Perfect. Anything yeah. else? We also? You need to throw the mic down and walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out of here. I didn't expect you to go Madison more snow than Chicago. I was expecting to say Madison more than Denver, but... I did, too. I didn't think... Yeah. That threw me off. I would have failed. I would have been like, oh, Chicago at first. So it was brutal when I was at Northwestern. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's always cold. I just, it just depends on the season. I, yeah. It depends on the year. 